great example for me in my football career that I've tried to apply in my fire service career is, you know, when I first started playing with the Titans, I had uh, Frank Wycheck, who was an all-pro player, who was, you know, kind of my mentor, uh, or was my mentor. And, you know, once he moved on and retired, it was then incumbent upon me to share the knowledge and the skills that he shared with me with the younger guys. You know, I could have taken the approach and said, hey, we drafted Ben Crew, he's a great athlete, man, he's gonna, he's gonna take my spot. Screw him, I'm not gonna tell him how to best be a professional, how to study film, how to run his routes, little things he can do to make sure he's, you know, in the right place at the right time, or little things he can pick up on, or tips he can look at the safety and see what the coverage is gonna be. You know, I could have said, hey, screw you, do it, you're on your own. That would have been bad success, you know, but instead, you know, I took the approach, hey, this kid's got a world of talent, and you know what? He's gonna be better than me one day, and I'm gonna give him everything I can, and it'll be up to him to use it. And I did. And, you know, for us, unfortunately, as a team, we didn't have a lot of success, but I usually give this as a question, and everybody gets it wrong, because during the time it happened, the Titans weren't very good. I played for the Titans during a the time they were very good, and my last couple of years, we weren't so good. But who knows the most or second most prolific tight end group in the history of the NFL? Getting to the point, the second most prolific tight end trio in the history of the NFL was the 2005 Tennessee Titans. Ben Troop, Aaron Kinney, Bo Skate. All right? As a team, we didn't have a great record. But as the leader of that tight end group, I took great pride in knowing that we did everything we could and that we played at a very extremely high level. And, you know, I can look back now, and I, I'm not trying to toot my own, but I can look back now and I know that my leadership influence and my willingness to share what Frank shared with me to allow me to be good, to allow me to achieve greatness, is what allowed those young men to achieve greatness as well. And another key factor to that is, you know, I didn't know how to teach them to pass it along. You know, I think that's one of those things that uh, either you get or you don't get. And, you know, once when I retired or when I got had my knee injury and ended up moving on, you know, the, or the team basically, they cut me. <laughs> that's the reality. <laughs> 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 right to be honest, they cut me. I got fired in the worst way possible. I was actually at uh, Firehouse World out in, in San Diego and saw it on ESPN across the ticker that they had released me. Go figure. Very impersonal. Um, but yeah, so. Um, but I've noticed, and it, to be honest with you, after the way I was released or cut, it felt good to me that the tight end sucked for the next couple of years. <laughs> Just being honest, you know, your group was not as good. But, um, you know, that's just one of those things that it's important for us in the fire service. We've got to pass on our experiences and what we learn. You know, we all know statistically we don't go to as many fires as we used to, but we're all here because we like to go to fires, right? I mean, nobody gets in the fire service because they want to go sit in the firehouse and do nothing. Everybody's itching, waiting for that, for that call, you know, for that opportunity to go do what we train so hard to do. So, in doing that and embodying that, be intrinsically driven to be members of value. You know, and what I like to say is, like it hurt the Titans when they cut me, it should hurt your organization a little bit when you retire or when you move on, or your company should, should feel it when you get promoted, you know? And that's a way to know you were a member of value. You know, if, you're, you know, if your company feels it or there's a void that's left, that there's some big shoes to fill, you know, when you get promoted, when you retire, that, that's a good indicator of, hey, you, you were somebody that was a difference maker, that brought value to your organization, to your company, to your department.